Semi-finals for Bezerra and Souza. Bezerra with the red belt in the top position, making quick work of trying to pass the guard here. Souza looking to punch that leg in. Reguard. Good job of walking his hips underneath his opponent here to try and establish the full guard. Circles the leg through for the lasso. Trying to disengage the ability of Bezerra to pass the guard. Bezerra from Commando Group. And Souza from AFNT. Super heavyweights now 120 kilograms or under semi finals. An interesting concoction of fighters. The winner of this matchup will go on to fight the winner of Cyborg and Costa. Scheduled to come up next here on Mat 3. Guard prevention techniques here on the bottom side position from Souza. Look at the circle that uh, Lasso in to prevent the guard pass Bezerra. They're going to try and free that right arm here out of jeopardy. Once he negates the Lasso, he's in a better affordance to try and pass the guard. Come up to the two minute mark here for the semi finalists. But a measured approach in this top position here from Bezerra. As of yet, hasn't been able to disengage the lasso from Souza. That's why he's finding himself here in this top position. Gonna try and free that right leg, disengage the uh, De La Hiva. He's doing a good job, though, of underhooking that right leg. Zera's got to step back and try and put his foot on the back of the hamstring of his opponent to try and disengage the, uh, the lasso. It's very difficult for uh, Bezerra to get back to his feet here with that underhook. Now's the time for Bezerra to get back to his feet. He's trying to peel that leg on the outside and drive that right knee through which gives him the ability to slice through, but he's still, his base is compromised on his left side still with the lasso. Such an, an amazing kind of um, new school technique, the lasso to prevent the guard pass. So he's briefly looking for the triangle here. Zero doing a good job of getting that knee in to make a bigger space in between the legs of his opponent. This runs the clock and neither athlete scores. You can see it go to the golden score, the golden wall round with the first person to take the score will instantly win. This is the semi-finals for the super heavyweights. So fighting for a chance to go forward into the finals. Zero, 32 years of age, ranked eighth in Brazil, 66 wins with the AJP Tour, 54 by points, seven by decision, two by submission, three by walkover. Get a rest period though before we go to the golden score round. 
offers another avenue, avenue of excitement to the Gi Jiu-Jitsu game, where the athletes chase after that definitive scoring point. First person to score instantly take the win. Souza, 30 years of age, 45 wins with the AJP Tour, 24 by submission, 20 by points, and one by walkover. One gold at the Abu Dhabi Grand Slam Jiu Jitsu World Tour 2022 to 2023 in here in Miami as a professional. Winning both of his fights by submission, then one by points. We see the uh, frenetic initiation from these two super heavyweights. Frantic Pizarro looking to pass the guard. Souza off of his back with the Lasso again. Making it very difficult for Bezerra to initiate the guard pass. Strips the grip. He's going to try and de-entangle the, uh, the lasso there on the left arm. Does Bezerra. Twenty seconds left here now. Otherwise, it goes to the referee's decision. Zero finding it really difficult to free the arm, the left arm in this case. Could give the sweep away though. See if Souza can establish the points. He might get an advantage for his efforts. Cartwheel guard pass from Bezerra, and he skips past the guard. Let's see if he does it. Advantage for Bezerra. And literally at the last second of the dying minutes here of the semi final. Nice work from Felipe Bezerra. Looked like it was going in the favor of Souza. Bezerra, defiant to the end, secures his spot in the final. He will face either Wallace Costa or Cyborg, depending on who wins the next super heavyweight matchup.